Mapping Ancient History Thinking Face Historians and geographers both agree that Incredible map of Pangaea with modern-day borders Driving from Maine to Morocco, face with monocle Map of supercontinent Pangaea with political boundaries shows America nestled up against North Africa By Daily Mail Reporter Slash A new map of Pangaea, the supercontinent from 300 million years ago, shows where modern-day countries would have been located in the ancient landmass. The east coast of the United States would have bordered North Africa while America's Gulf Coast was nestled against Cuba, according to the graphic representation that outlines the political borders of nation-states. Fossil evidence suggests that 300 million years ago there was one supercontinent surrounded by a single ocean, Panthalassa. Here's what Pangaea looks like mapped with modern political borders. Historical view, a new map of Pangaea, the supercontinent from 300 million years ago, shows where modern-day countries would have been located in the ancient landmass. The map was originally posted on Reddit and was picked up by I09. This continent would have an awesome railroad system, one user commented about the supercontinent. Other geography enthusiasts wondered how different the world would be if many of these unlikely neighbors were still stuck together. Brazil without a coast? I'm glad we split apart, one user commented, since according to the historical view Brazil would be landlocked by Nigeria down to Namibia. The concept of the supercontinent was presented by German scientist Alfred Wegener. He noticed by studying the edges of the separate continents that it appeared that they had once all been pieced together like a jigsaw puzzle. Matter of time, fossil evidence suggests that 300 million years ago there was one supercontinent surrounded by a single ocean, Panthalassa. Science, German scientist Alfred Wegener proposed that the process of continental drift began during the Triassic period, around 200 million years ago. The landmass, he called her continent, separated into individual pieces as part of a process called continental drift. In 1912, he presented his theory of continental drift but the concept was shot down by his academic colleagues. His work was not widely accepted until the 1950s. Wegener proposed that the process of continental drift began during the Triassic period, around 200 million years ago, when Pangaea began to separate. The breakups occurred during a series of phases until separate continents were formed. New York Read more Asterisk here's what Pangaea looks like mapped with modern political borders. When you could walk from New York to Morocco. How countries would have looked 300 million years ago. Share and comment on this article video in the comments section below backhand index pointing down medium dark skin tone.